Hi, so I just wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how to take any samples or loops you may have, uh, put them into Logic, uh, and then make sure that they're synced with your song's BPM. So for example, the sample may be 90 BPM and your song uh, may be 150 BPM. Um, by default, that's not going to fit, but with a um, process called Flex Time on Logic Pro, you can get the sample to basically stretch in to fit your um, BPM of the song. So I'm just going to open up a brand new track in Logic. I'm going to just select MIDI. I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to come out of that. Now what I want to do is I want to just add a sample in from my Files app. Now if for whatever reason at the top of your screen you don't see three dots, if you just go to the top right hand corner where you'd normally maybe select like Bluetooth or screen record, you can go down and next to the screen record button you've got this option here. If I just press that, it's called Stage Manager. Now at the top of my screen I've got three dots. What I can do now is I can press that and it will give me the option to add another window. So I can do that and I've got my files already loaded up. So I'm just going to take the sample I've got. I'm going to drag it into Logic and then that's going to come up. If I add it there, it's going to say create new track with Sample Alchemy, Quick Sampler or the Drum Machine Designer. I just want to put this into the Quick Sampler. So I'm going to do that. Now if I go into that, I'll give it a set to analyze it. If I come to my instrument, Quick Sampler, give that a double click, come out the keyboard quickly. Right, automatically it's gone to slice mode. What I want to do is I want to put it into either one shot or classic so that um, you can just play the loop. Uh, firstly, I'm just going to bring down the audio on my mixer so you can hear everything. So let's just bring that down slightly. Right, so back into the quick sampler. If I press classic and I go to keyboard, well, first of all, what I'll do is I'll make this full screen again because we don't need the other window open now. So back to full screen, and if I've got classic on and I press OK, as soon as I let go, the key, the sound goes. If I press one shot, it will play through the duration of the sample. Now at the moment, if I press one shot again, the sounds keep looping through. I don't want that at all. It sounds horrible. So what I want to do is I just want to scroll down to where the amp is on the sampler page. And I want to just change that to number one. So there's only one voice now. So when I press C3, and then I press it again. That's much better. Right, so anyway, that's that. Let's let this run through. If I now go to my timeline and just press the metronome, I'm going to put it to classic so that I can keep, you know, restarting. I'll put the metronome on. Wait for the old breaking news to leave the screen. Come on. Right, metronome's on. Let's press play. You can hear that going. And you can hear the sample's not in time. Because I believe the sample to be 90 BPM and obviously I'm on just default logic um, tempo that opens with which is 120. So what I want to do is underneath the sample here there's this uh, button which I can press which is the flex time button and that will follow the tempo. So now when I press play and we're on to 120 and I put on the metronome. The sample now is in perfect time with the tempo of my song. So even though the tempo is faster than the sample, by putting on the flex time, it's made it so it fits. Now we can obviously change that. So if I want to put the tempo to um, uh, faster, 150. Let's do that. Now press play. So now we're really going. We're whizzing along. straight away it fits 
if I turn this off, you can hear the samples defaulted back to 90. So all you need to make sure you're doing is turning on this flex time within the sampler and you're going to be good to go with that. And if I press stop there, if I close that down, and now obviously you can you know record it in however you want to. Close the keyboard and then that is that. So that's pretty much the video. Uh, if you found this video helpful or you liked it, then please give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.